welcome along to another Midlife Crisis video. Um, So um, this is what I take with me. Okay, this is basically what I take with me on my CX bike. Uh, obviously keen on my filming, so I've got the GoPro Hero 5, GoPro Hero 4. Uh, this is on the extender pole. So just nice to get occasionally those shots of uh, like the one where I was going over the reservoir the other day, which I'll show you now. So that's handy for those type of shots. Um, and this is my, I've gone on about it before, but my favorite GoPro accessory, which is the clamp. And that basically clamps onto any part of the bike or wall or fence or whatever happens to be around when I need to get good steady shots. So that's that. Obviously um, the trusted mobile phone which is fully charged um, but also in this little uh, pack that I bought recently um, my mobile will sit in there so I can obviously access my sat nav because I'm starting to do some quite long routes now and um, perhaps that's subject of another video but I'm still trying to establish the best route planning app. Um, I've had a few problems with Google uh, but I won't go into that now. Um, so that's the idea there, the mobile sits in there um, and obviously to power the mobile we do need some form of extra power supply and this is one of the power packs that obviously um, just make sure yeah it's all fully charged as well. You definitely need that if you're going to be relying on a sat nav on a mobile, uh, even new mobiles, I know the phone's lasting better and better but there's no way you're going to do a five hour ride on one charge from a mobile phone. So that's imperative. Um, I personally will always bring a couple of uh, nutrient bars. Uh, I'm still looking into this because I'm relatively new at these longer scale rides. I need to do some more research regarding these gels and um, drinks and just general sugar, glucose, whatever you want to call it, just to power you up a bit. Because uh, So I, I just take these protein bars for now, so that's always imperative. Uh, they live in there and then obviously on the other side of this pouch I've got the uh, uniform brand new inner tube just in case of emergency and a decent quality um, this is top peak it wasn't cheap uh, I know you can get all these little uh, tools from uh, decathlon and things for like five or six quid and I paid nearly 20 quid for this but I think it's well worth the money, it's just a lot better quality, it does a variety of things. It's the Swiss Army knife of biking, so good tool to have, just in case you never know. Uh, and then as an optional extra, you've probably seen this on my previous rides, I've started to use this on my CX now, it's just an uh, older ex-army friend gave me this, it's a brilliant bike. I've just cut this strap there, so it can now sit nicely on the handlebars, it just straps over beautifully. And in there, uh, I will carry, as I like my photography, just only a, it's a little com, little tiny thing really in comparison to my. It's uh, the one I'm filming this with is the 700D, and this is just the little EOS 100D. Uh, but I do like to get some nice um, DSLR shots when I can. There's also a spare top in there. Um, and also, uh, that's where I put my rain mat if rain was forecast. But today, hopefully, fingers crossed no rain is forecast and then um, I've still got lots of empty stuff here lots of empty pockets that I could utilize but I try and travel as light as I can the only other thing I've got hidden away in here will be my wallet obviously that's for my refueling ie coffee and cake at some point and a couple of uh, GoPro batteries uh, just as backup for my GoPros if I do a lot of filming um, that's about it obviously uh, I didn't mention uh, drinks bottles two of them longer ride uh, definitely need to keep yourself hydrated <laughs> 